Are you tired of bleeding under your stencils? Yikes. Are you ready to throw all your stencils in the trash? Not so fast. Today we are talking about the three biggest mistakes that people make while stenciling and we're going to help you be able to make beautiful stenciled projects right at home. Hey there, I'm Carrie at Studio R12 Stencils and we are the experts in the stencil field with more than 6,000 stencil designs on our website, studior12.com and more than 100 videos right here on YouTube for you to learn how to be an amazing stenciler. The first mistake we hear about a lot is probably one of the most important and that is what you are applying your paint with. A lot of stencilers are using a flat brush. Is that you? Are you bleeding under? It's okay, we're here to help. We've been there, but now we use a dome shaped brush. This brush is actually cut like a dome and this helps prevent bleeding under because less of the brush is actually on your project, pushing less paint through the stencil. Now you'll also want to be sure you are using a dry dome brush. Do not add water to your brush. And if you've cleaned your brush, make sure to let it dry all the way before you start using it. Maybe you don't have a dome brush yet. That's okay. We have a video for you showing, I think, 11 different ways to apply paint through your stencils. Some of them worked, some of them didn't, but we did the work for you. The second mistake is using the wrong paint. So we recommend using an acrylic paint. Really any good acrylic paint will do. We do recommend that when you go to the store, you maybe stay away from the cheapest paint. Normally the ones that are really cheap are a little bit thinner and they can run underneath your stencil. Now, when you pour out your paint, you want it to be nice and thick, have a little bit of a dome on top and not spread across your palette. And just like your brush, you also want to make sure that your paint is dry, meaning that you are not adding water to your paint so not to thin it out. So the third mistake is using too much paint on your project. Here's a little tip. You're going to use your dome brush, put it in your paint, scoop up a little paint on your brush, and then come to a paper towel on your project and swirl off 10 or 15 times. Now this may seem counterproductive. You may feel like you are wasting paint, but once you try it and realize it's gonna help you prevent bleeding under, we think you're gonna be a fan. Then you'll come to your project and do a very light swirl. A lot of people who stencil do a stippling motion, which we still do, but we can show you how to do it the right way. And that gets more paint on your brush and then on your project, which can increase the chances of bleeding under. So when you do a really light swirl, it is going to add a really light, dusty layer to your project. Stenciling is a layers game. You go nice and slow. Be sure to try these tips, and if you thought this video was helpful, subscribe to the Studio R12 YouTube channel and hit the bell so you can be notified anytime we add new videos with tips, tricks, and tutorials.